Good morning. Good morning. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to day five of the Carnival Panorama Mexican Riviera Cruise. Got it. Got it. Okay. Today we're in Mazatlan. Mm -hmm. And today we have a top 10 tour of the island with lunch and island. a show. I did that again. <laughs> Mainland Mexico. Yeah. Sorry. As Robert has said in the last vlog, too many Caribbean ports of call, which are usually islands. Yes. It's a habit. Okay, so everything is running along the side of the screen here I'm for you. Here. <laughs> Breakfast menu, today's uh, activities around the ship, and that kind of thing. If you are in some available shore excursions for today in Mazalan. If you are curious as to how much this excursion cost, how much we spent on our cruise, how much this cruise cost, everything and anything will be listed down in the description box for you. So don't forget to go and check if you need to know or you're just curious. Are you going to put in there how much we won on the casino? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, he did really, really well yes. in the casino. That is in the sneak peek. So that's listed right up there for you. So if you're curious, go check that out. All right, we are about to go downstairs and disembark the ship. We are supposed to meet off the port, nine port, port pier, poor, off the pier, dock, dock at 9.45. Join us back as we disembark the ship for our excursion today. Good morning, Mazatlan. Woohoo! Tour buses. Let's fare we, figure out where we go. One second. Woo! Okay, um, there's no seatbelts, so just not super fond of that, but hold on tight, yes. Um, I know a couple of you have said, you know, maybe you shouldn't expect seatbelts. No, you should always expect seatbelts, <laughs> always, on every vehicle. Um, it's dangerous not to have them, and as a person who has been through a windshield without a seatbelt, I'm a big fan. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jesus is going to be our driver today. I need your help. Let's say, Jesus, vamanos! Vamanos! In these containers, there is a place called the uh, cruise ship terminal. So, uh, we're going to drop you right right there. Remember, this tour uh, should be done about 2 o'clock, something like that. So, uh, right now it's uh, 9.45, I believe. So, we'll be finished around 2 o'clock. And the ship, uh, all aboard call is at 5.30, correct? 5.30. Yes. So, then that means that uh, you'll have extra time for shopping or just take off directly to the uh, ship, okay? By the ocean, and you're gonna see the Fisherman's Monument. Fisherman's Monument is the biggest monument in Mazatlan. And the man represents the local fishermen, the tower represents the lighthouse, the lady represents the beautiful women of Mazatlan, the marlin represents sport fishing, the shell represents the city, and the blue tiles represents the ocean. And the beautiful lady is laying over the Tropic of Cancer, okay? To your right, we have the three islands. Uh, we have uh, Wolf Island, sorry, no wolves. The middle one is Deer Island, sorry, no deers. And the third one is uh, Bird Island. And yes, that is a bird sanctuary, okay? Yes, well, finally we got something. The birds, the seagulls, and uh, some ducks called um, Pichichin. Anyways, uh, the local fishermen right here have been settled uh, from 1940, 1950. Mostly, uh, most of them are neighbors. They take off uh, bright late at night and come back very early with red snapper, mahi mahi, uh, fresh lobster, you name it. And you can see we have many birds right there waiting for their share. Uh, anybody can, can go there and get your swimming classes huge. all year round. But in November, we got graduation. And your graduation exam is that you have to swim all the way down to Deer Island. Wow. Okay. Coming up next, we have the monument to life continuity. Yes, uh, we are going through a lot of maintenance in this area because uh, from the last corner and up to six blocks up ahead, we, we uh, blocked all this area and had a huge party. We made it the biggest cantina in the world. So, <laughs> because of carnival, okay, the celebration. 
Okay, so we're at the Battle's Cliff already. Once the uh, bus is totally parked, we're gonna get off, and uh, they're actually having their meeting right there. So we're gonna stand right there where they're having the meeting, okay? We'll go right there, we we'll wait for them to dive, take the picture, you may keep them, keep some welcome, and then we hop on right away, okay? Thank you. All right, so we are here to see the divers. was crazy. I thought they would go the other way. Oh dear. Oh, get out of there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so scary. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. That is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so keep in mind, they do not pull the tips, and we didn't know that. So break up your tip for each diver individually, just, just FYI. I feel bad, I wish we would have known. You know, NASA plant, we used to storage the ice in one of the caves right there. The ice came all the way down from San Francisco. Yeah. Okay, so here uh, to the right we have some monuments. Uh, the first one is uh, to Mr. Alvarado, uh, Jose Alfredo Jimenez. He's the one that wrote the uh, NASA plant song. And Ferrosquilla, which is the uh, very popular Mexican singer. Okay? Then uh, to your right, we also have uh, a monument to Jack Cousteau. Are you familiar with Jack Cousteau? Yes. Okay. Jack Cousteau uh, is in Mexico, so he spent thousands of hours in the, There's the water slide Gulf of California. Okay. Yes. He once been. So beautiful. Wow. Here and uh, is it back? We have the uh, city hall. City hall is very important to Mexico. Oh, it smells good. On, uh, September the 15th. City During hall. Independence Day. It's not for the map. Please watch your step. This way. Chandelier, right away, uh, in front of the main altar. Main altar, of course, is the Catholic uh, Conception Virgin. Uh, we also have another four altars on the side for the corner. You will be able to see also the fourteen stations of the Via Dolorosa. Okay? Uh, and once you go inside, uh, 30, 40 steps, if you turn around, you'll be able to see an 1800 uh, musical organ. Okay? That was brought from France. Uh, the other one, uh, the chandelier also, and the figures of the fourteen stations, most likely from Italy. Okay, so this corner we have uh, uh, Just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Wow. Okay. 
I highly recommend. You can eat the donuts that are down here. They smell delicious. <laughs> they look tasty. They look delicious. Please have one for me. Please. <laughs> Then, uh, Baseball park. The last games were they started on October, and uh, Mazatlan gets to play to Wasabe, Navajoa, Tijuana, Jalisco, and the Atuna rivals, Culiacan. So whoever wins gets to go to the Caribbean series. This year, this season, uh, Los Mochis won, and they were uh, third place in the Caribbean series. Mazatlan has won twice the Caribbean series. Uh, in Mexico, we have 19 uh, World Series champions. Three of them are from Sinaloa State, and two of those three are from Mazatlan. Jorge Charolita Horta, and the other one is Jose Urquidy, who became a World Series champion just last October. He played with Astros from Houston. Yep. <laughs> yes. All right, here we are at lunch and a show. Let's see where we go. All righty, Diet Coke, margarita. Okay, so here is the lunch. Now he says it's gluten free. This is chicken and peppers, rice, beans, and pico. Then you come right through here, you get on your little buggy, and you head back to the ship. Right, we 
are back on the ship and here's our little guy, little froggy guy. He's cute. It was a good day. We enjoyed today, I think. It was, I, you know, I don't know. It could have been a little better. Okay, don't you think, honey? Yes, the food was cold. Yeah, the food was cold. The show was cute. The people did a great job and um, they were sweating when they were done. Um, but uh, yeah, the food was cold and it was nice to get out at the divers. I think I would actually rather see less and spend more time at each stop mm -hmm. than see more and not spend any time except at the shopping. And so, and I understand, I, I understand why they have you spend time at the shopping, but quite frankly, I would have rather have, why am I talking like this? There we go. Quite frankly, I would have rather had more time at maybe seeing the divers, um, walking along the boardwalk type, the, you know, the beach walk area. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just kind of felt like it was a little, it wasn't our favorite. We'll yeah. just leave it, it at that. It was nice, but it's not nothing we would do again. Exactly. So, um, and if it were warmer, we would have done something offshore on a catamaran or something right. at a cold. beach. Yeah. It's, it's quite chilly. So, I mean, it's, it's, uh, 69. So that, and windy. So it's breezy. Okay, so we're going to wait for our friends to get back on the ship. We got separated in our excursions, and they went on a separate bus, so they're still coming in. And uh, then we're probably going to... I have no idea what we're going to do, but currently, these two Fenwicks are going to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> it is now dinner time. It's 6 o'clock. We watched Sail Away in the cabin, just sort of relaxed for a little bit to try and catch up on our day. Yeah, we're going to dinner. <laughs> so we, it's midship, we come right down and enter in. That is what they call the front of the dining room. For me, it feels like the back of the dining room, but they call it the front. So there you go. Through that entrance over there would be the atrium. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go find our friends and then we will be at dinner. I get so busy talking that I forget to uh, show you my bread. This is gluten-free bread this evening. It's, they're improving it. It's getting better. At least it is toasted and warm this evening. Sometimes they bring it too cold, so I much appreciate this improvement. Okay, this is wild rice chicken stew, but I don't see any rice. It's usually a gamble. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. I don't know, it's very, it's just hearty and warm, so that's perfectly fine. Looks delicious. This is Robert's lasagna. I forgot I ordered the caprese salad. Delicious, I'm very excited. And here's my salmon, and I forgot to show you, but Robert did get the entree version of the lasagna, but he's already dug in. It looks just like the uh, uh, appetizer version, just a uh, little smaller, a little bigger, excuse me. So here is dessert, banana split. Y'all, I just love the banana split. I love the melting cake too, but banana split is my favorite. Just a quick peek at tonight's buffet. That is some jambalaya, shrimp creole. We've got cornbread crusted chicken, pork ribs, um, steamed mussels. And over here we have some corn chili and quinoa baked tomatoes, penne bolognese. Uh, more jambalaya, baked potatoes, and gravy. Chicken noodle soup. Oh, a creamy, creamy chicken soup. Oh, good. Excellent. That sounds good. And then this is the carving station. So here is... And uh, most of that was actually in the dining room today. Here's some bread. Of course, you have the deli. And uh, over here, there is some shrimp creole and same formula. It's the same over here. So there you go. And then there are some desserts, more salads, coleslaw, things like that. Just tres leches cake. And there was a long line, so I can't really get you close. But there is praline cake this evening, chocolate sandwich cookie cake. So, yeah, fruit. But you see, there's a line. So... I'm not gonna stick my camera in everybody's face, but there are cookies and fruit. And uh, let's see, can you see, can you see? There you go. And then there's the chocolate sandwich cookie cake. And um, there's the rum raise, uh, walnut pie rum bread pudding. Oh, that was on the other side, that's what, that's 
it's right there. There you go. Not the best camera <laughs> work. Hey, you can see though, right? That's all that matters is that you can see. <laughs> and I didn't have to put my camera in anybody's face. I have not shown you the seafood shack, which is open still. Menu's up on the screen for you. So, yeah. I mean, here it is. There's nothing really to show you. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, I, I can't eat here. So, here's the pool this evening. Uh, they're doing some work on the aft. Full aft back there. It is chilly. You can see the crew out here in their hoodies. It's, it's chilly. Windy. Lots of children in the pool. Robert at the bar to get a Mountain Dew. Well, it's about that time. Yep. It, uh, it's actually not that late. However, we have to be up very, very early in the morning. Our tender is at 6.30 in the morning. So we're going to just sit on the balcony and relax tonight. Yes, yes, we are. Now, tonight is love and marriage at 9.30. I have a bone to pick with you, Carnival. We can't go to love and marriage that starts at 9.30 when we have to be up at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Who do they think we are? 20? No, not. We're not. <laughs> anyway, um, actually, that's up to the cruise director as to what time on the schedule things are. But what was the trip that it was in the afternoon? Uh, Princess, no, Allure. Allure had it in the afternoon. It was like two thirty in the afternoon. What is happening here? I don't know. Yes, um, it. Let's. Oh, that's better. Let's put this here, and my arm won't hurt. <laughs> Y'all, I'm tired. I've been vlogging all day. It's a hard job. But somebody's got to do it. You're right. Anyway, um, so tomorrow is Cabo San Lucas. And tomorrow we have a private excursion whale watching. And we are very excited. Yes, we are. Now, if you've been watching the series thus far, then you have seen, we have seen whales um, on our sea day. And then we saw them yesterday um, on our way in uh, uh, Puerto Vallarta. Yes. So it was, that was exciting. Yeah. Bring on so, the whales. That's right. Yes. So, um, we will see you in the morning. Now, thank you so much for joining us this evening uh, here in Mazatlan. Uh -huh. It's our first time here. And uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. Yeah. I know our carnival excursion today was not the greatest, but they can't all be 10 out of 10s. So, you know. You live and learn. You got to learn. That's right. So, the show, like I said, just to reiterate, the show, the dancers, they were fabulous. They had excellent talent. They were really, really good. The food was cold and the tour was okay. Was okay. It was a little dis y'all know how I feel about the vendors. You know that I support them. I believe that, you know, it's they're a, trying to make a living. They're trying to make a living, but it was a bit excessive today and it 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 was uncomfortable at times. So mm -hmm. that was a little frustrating. But other than that, you know The divers were amazing. Oh, the, that was so cool. The yeah. church was amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Okay, enough about that. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to join us tomorrow in Cabo San Lucas. Don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. We try and keep things super positive around here, but we're also honest with you. So sometimes things aren't perfect and we wanna let you know about that. Yep. Doesn't mean we didn't have a great time. Right. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next one. Good night. Good night.